Photoshop is super easy when you break it down step by step. So just follow along and you'll have an awesome poster design like this for social media or for print. All right, let's get started. So let's create our canvas first. Now hit the rectangle tool and drag a rectangle across your entire canvas. Go up to fill and change the color to whatever color you want the main color of your design to be. For my case, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers, so it's going to be yellow. All right, now drag in this paper tear into your graphic, increase the size and fit it to the top half of the Photoshop canvas. Let's now drag our second overlay background into the graphic. Right click on this layer and then go to create clipping mask. So now it is linked to the paper tear that we just put into our graphic. And then we can change the blend mode to pin light in order to give it a different look. Now let's insert another layer below our paper tear layer and we're going to create a slight shadow below this layer to make it look like the paper is sitting on top of the yellow layer. For the last element of the background, put in this dust overlay and then switch it to the blend mode exclusion. All right, let's learn how to go from this player image to this. First, insert your player image that you want to use and go up to filter and then camera raw filter. All right, initially we're going to add some grain to our player but we also want him to have that shiny look to him. So increase your noise reduction in the curve section. We're going to decrease our darks. What this does is it makes the blacks darker on your player's Jersey. We're also going to increase our clarity contrast as well as highlights. Make sure you add back on some vibrance and then press. Okay. This is what it looked like before. And here's the after. Now create a new layer. Right click on that layer and go to create clipping mask. Make sure that you have the paintbrush selected and the color white toggled. Reduce your hardness and then paint around your player. What we are doing is adding a white light effect to the outside of your player image. This is one of my favorite things to add to my sports design posters. So definitely make sure you guys are doing this correctly. Let's do the same steps, but beneath our player layer. So this is going to be a black shadow behind our player. So make sure you have a blank layer created and then you're going to be using a black paintbrush. If you're getting a solid black paint effect instead of the shadowy look, make sure you have your hardness reduced. This is what it looks like before any of the changes from this step. And here is what it looks like after a lot better. Click the white paint layer and then press and hold shift and select your bottom black shadow background. And we're going to put it into a group. You can then rename it to whatever you want for organizational purposes. In step three, we're going to incorporate our text into the graphic, hit the T on the toolbar, and then click inside your canvas and type out final score. For this design, I'm using the font Kenyan coffee for the numbers inside the graphic. The font is called Robson. One of the important steps with this text is to add a drop shadow. You can see how the yellow text will only fit into the graphic if it has a drop shadow on it. This is what it looks like with no drop shadow. And here's what it looks like with the drop shadow. Insert the rest of your text. And now we're going to focus on the logos as well as the rest of the design portion of the graphic. The logos that I placed inside the graphic both have the same drop shadow that I put on the text. Again, you can do this by hitting the effects button and then going to drop shadow. If you guys are enjoying today's video, please drop a like for me. It really helps more than you guys probably think. Next, let's add these paper tears. This is where we're going to add more text on top of them. If you press command J, you can duplicate your paper tear layer. For me, duplicate is something that I do all the time. So I have the duplicate command command J linked to a button on my mouse. So all I have to do is make one click to duplicate something. If you have any questions about my button setup on my mouse, let me know in the comments. All right, now we're going to insert our sticker. Once we have our sticker inserted, we're going to go up to image adjustments and then click hue and saturation. Hit colorize and then change the hue to whatever you want the sticker color to be and then adjust the saturation and lightness accordingly. To get some of the texture back into the sticker that you lost with adding a color to it, you can go up to camera raw filter and then go to clarity as well as texture and increase both of these. Let's put some text on the sticker and then we're going to change the font color to white and then we're going to place it below our player image. This is just a reminder that all of the overlays, fonts, and paper chairs will be available in a link in the description. All I ever ask is for you guys to like the video for me and keep following the page. 
The Naji font is called Blastemo. For me, I originally wanted a lighter version of a gray for this font to make it stick out, but with the changes I make towards the end of this video, it looks better when it is more of a black. Now we're going to add some finishing touches to the graphic and give it a true poster design look. This can be done with two easy steps. First, let's create a layer and then press Shift, Alt, and Command E. Next, you're going to go up to Camera Raw Filter. I decreased the yellows just a little bit and then I took down the darks and shadows in my curves layer. If you decrease these shadows, you can see how the blacks get darker, which is what we want. Let's also increase our texture, clarity, and add back some vibrance. It's really important that you increase the exposure a good amount because it leads you to this final important step. Create a black and white adjustment layer and then change the blend mode to soft light. This creates a contrasty look to your entire design. And after you've completed this step, you're finished with the entire design. If you have any questions about any of the steps, let me know in the comments. If not, thanks for watching and have a good one.